Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. We're gonna be talking about oil today and some very interesting comments that came out of uh, JP Morgan about the oil price. But before I start that, I'm gonna go back to uh, the late spring of this year when I was talking about oil was gonna hit, in my opinion, $100 a barrel by the end of fall. And we never got to that $100. We were charging up for sure, but then it kept getting smacked down. But it was because I was following Goldman Sachs. And I say, you always want to pay attention to the big boys in the room because they, they know more because they have a lot of influence over markets. And uh, so obviously that didn't come to pass. But now we have JP Morgan coming out. And this is saying right now, oil prices are set to rise as high as $150 a barrel as OPEC controls supply in the face of the Omicron uh, Omicron concerns. All right, so a couple of bullet points, then we're going to talk about it. OPEC's control over the supply of oil will catapult prices to $150 a barrel in 2023, JP Morgan said in a Monday note. Now, obviously, that's a couple years away, right? But I always I say that people usually like to set these parameters well out in advance so that they're always right. Okay, JP Morgan's pretty smart. Uh, Goldman, I was pretty bold saying $100 a barrel when oil was around 50, and they said it was going to happen in six months. Uh, it didn't happen, but boy, it did charge up. That's for sure. They said we believe OPEC will defend the uh, oil price with paced volume growth to keep inventories low. Okay, so their bet is that. Um, they're going to uh, want to keep their prices high. And, and people don't really, a lot of people don't understand that. OPEC is uh, in a, quite a situation right now. It's because uh, certain parts of their uh, the control is running out of oil. And, and their goal is to, um, even if they weren't running out of oil, uh, their goal is to keep oil prices high. Because if you even if you have a ton, um, why would you sell a barrel at 25 bucks or 50 bucks when you can sell it for 75 or $100, right? Even if there's a ton, that's just smart planning, right? Let's just, whatever we got in the ground, keep in the ground, let's sell half of it for twice as much, and we're making good money. So this is essentially what JP Morgan's saying right now. They're gonna they're gonna hold back production and control it in order to keep prices high. Okay. Says JP Morgan does not see the new Omicron variant of COVID-19 putting a dent into the demand for oil. Whereas you saw that massive sell-off not only in the oil markets but in the um, uh, gasoline futures as well. I mean, shoot. Uh, Gasoline, some gasoline futures, uh, what, lost 12, 12 and a half percent in one day on February, on uh, Friday, Black Friday. That's absolutely huge. So it's the last thing it says here, uh, rising oil prices are here to stay according to JP Morgan with the bank estimating that Brent crude prices could hit $150 a barrel in 2033 as the OPEC cartel um, uh, control that, that demand. Now, they go into what the Biden administration is doing and things like that. And I'm going to hold off. I'll put a link to the uh, story below. But what I want to focus on is the fact that these are controlled markets. And you have to understand, they want to control them higher, which is going to put more of a squeeze. There's also a, um, an initiative. And it's, it's the same color as this grass, just, you know, because I can't say certain things. Because the, uh, the green initiative, that's what it is. Call a spade a spade. They want to focus you into this new technology of electric cars and all this kind of stuff. You wonder why, and this is why I talk about precious metals because the need for this stuff's gonna be insane, both copper, silver, things like that, because this is where they're pushing you. They wanna choke you out. They wanna put that constraint on you, your monthly budget with uh, rising fuel prices and other you know, uh, expenses to get you into these uh, money-saving cars that have a huge carbon footprint. I don't wanna digress into that, but my whole point is that they wanna squeeze you into this because these are the companies they own. And so they want to, they, they heard, heard us like cattle. This is why so badly we need to get out of the system, break out of the system, because their system is destroying a currency and causing all commodities, real wealth to go up. So how do we get out of that? Well, we break out of the currencies, their system, like by buying precious metals and by buying things like solid cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, right? Decentralized uh, blockchains, like I love Digibyte. Um, but then also on the side of that, then what you do is you start to look at buying things of real wealth, like water, like owning land. Um, start to look at investing in oil. Why wouldn't you invest in oil? Well, you have to, you have to become a, a credit investor when you're investing in wells. So a lot of people say the low-hanging fruit is to invest in the stocks that have to do with oil. You know, one thing I've never done well with is stocks in the short term. Long term, I've done good um, when I buy and hold, but it's just not my thing usually. Um, but that's what we need to start looking at, breaking out of the system. JP Morgan's calling it right here, 150 bucks a barrel. Goldman Sachs calling 100 bucks a barrel. The one thing that's guaranteed is that's gonna land you 
in the poorhouse when it comes to driving your SUV and trying to heat your house. All right, guys, that being said, I hope you got something out of this. The Academic Ninja is out.